I bought stuff from the cauldron shop. Hello and welcome back to Real World Magic. Today is a special day. Last week I got an email from my favourite magic themed pub, The Cauldron. And before you ask, yes, I have been to more than one wizard themed pub. Okay, so the content of this email was surprising to me, and in a good way. A very good way. The Cauldron is a fabulous magic experience based in London. I've been twice and I love it, and if you want to see inside the Cauldron pub in London, there's a video I linked about it up here. I will certainly go again when all of this Covid stuff blows over. However, for now, in this email, I was expecting little more than a cursory note just saying about them being closed, and I kind of expected that. Of course, they are doing the responsible thing, and they have closed their amazingly awesome magical experiences, but there really is some good news here, like seriously awesome news. The good news is that the Cauldron has started selling magical products to use at home. That's products that you and I can buy online, and they'll ship them out to your very own home. I need to say that I'm not getting any commission for this video, and they're not sponsoring it either. I've actually spent my own money on this stuff purely for your entertainment. Okay, also for my entertainment, but you know what I mean. So, what cool stuff have I bought then? Well, let's start with what's been delivered, because they have had a few issues with their suppliers because of the whole COVID-19 thing. The first thing I want to talk about is my mega awesome... Cauldron. Those of you who know me personally or have been watching my channel for a while now, you may have seen my very own homemade bottle opener. Well, here it is. This homemade bottle opener has a great little cauldron just here to catch bottle caps. And I made this on a whim and I really do love it, but it's not exactly the biggest cauldron in the world. However, while it makes perfect sense to use a Diddy Widdle cauldron to catch bottle tops, brewing a magical cocktail or potion requires something a little bit bigger and better than that. Now I don't know if you guys are quite as weird as I am, and it'll probably be quite bad for my channel if you were as weird as me, so let's hope not. But if you've ever been a stranger to wonder, where would I get a decent sized cauldron from, then worry not, I've got your back. For at last, after searching the internet and finding very little of any quality for a decent price, I finally discovered where you can get your very own magical cauldron, slightly bigger than that, from. And they're not very expensive, all things considered. This is a style of cauldron I first saw when I went to the cauldron in Elephant and Castle back in 2017, I think. It was then that I fell in love with brewing bubbling cocktails, and brewing such a thing in a cauldron makes it feel genuinely witchy and, not going to lie, a little bit naughty. Now I have also purchased from the same cauldron shop a brewing kit which will feature in another video when it arrives, and a light-up dragon egg nightlight, controlled by a magic wand no less, and that's going to have its own video too. But for now, I'm going to start by brewing my very own special, magical, colour-changing cocktails. And if you want to know how to make the non-alcoholic ones, I've linked that one up here. I'm going to make a separate video in a moment telling you how to make a boozy, magical, colour-changing cocktail, and I'll probably release that in a couple of weeks, and when it's done, I'll link that one up here too. For making it bubble and smoke, you're going to need some dry ice, and I realise that a lot of people won't know how to make that. Don't panic, my little witches and wizards, I've got your back. I've added yet another video about how to make dry ice at home too, and if you want to see that video, don't worry, I've linked that one up there too. I've put all of the links in the description as well, just in case you want to watch this whole video without the trouble of me pointing you to other videos. So for now, however, let's move on, because the next thing I ordered from the cauldron has arrived too. This is a magic wand stand, and it's purely for decoration of course, and it doesn't really have any practical use at all, except that it looks good, and I can display my favourite wand in pride of place in my workplace. This is not my favourite wand, this is rubbish. Please see that video for more information. Sure, this is only a small thing, but if you, like me, have limited space, but you still want to keep your area organised and tidy, you don't need to worry about boxes and boxes of wands. You just buy some of these, and they look great on a shelf or a wall. You can drill through here, you might need to back up that a little bit so that it doesn't fall out, but other than that, you're pretty much there. It's awesome. It goes in like that. That is even better. You know what, I've discovered that on camera. I've caught this on camera, 
and uh, honestly, this is the. I'm going to shove that in my head, my nose in a minute. <laughs> oh, blimey, come on. Come on, there you go. Ooh, right, let's put that there. Hey, you know what? It's almost like they thought this out. They thought it out better than I did anyway. Yeah, man, check that out. Cool. So that will then hold up a wand. Boom! Probably the best thing to happen to that wand, to be honest. And it goes like that. And that will rest quite nicely on a shelf. Hey, I might get some more of these. This is cool. Yeah. Looks alright. I like that. Okay. I'm going to put that on a shelf right now. And then you can see you know, what it looks like. Okay, so here it is in front of my spell book, and I'm going to show you how to make my spell book um, at some point in the future. I've got all these Harry Potter books as well, so it kind of mixes in quite nicely, and I've got my uh, Aladdin's lamp, which I do want to do another video about how to make a real genie appear out of a real Aladdin's lamp in real life, which could be quite interesting. Then there's my little box of tricks and uh, my skull, which you'll normally see sat on my table in my dungeon. And then I've got the Harry Potter replica chocolate frog, which I know you can't really see from this angle. It's still in its box and I really don't want to take it out. Um, but yeah, it's, it's in there, trust me. And all my Harry Potter books, which I love. And even a Crimes of Grindelwald puzzle, which I still have yet to do. Anyway, I'm digressing. That's the one stand. I think it looks pretty cool on my bookshelf. Of course I do have boxes and boxes of wands and I'm also probably going to get more too, so um, I'm putting up a shelf anyway. But that's another story. Okay, so since the cauldron are having a few supply issues at the moment, that's pretty much it for now. I'll keep you posted and when the other stuff arrives I'll do a review of all of it. That's me done for this video. If you liked it, please click the like button and subscribe for more of this kind of thing. If you do subscribe, make sure you click the bell button to be notified of future uploads. Talk to me in the comments, and remember, if you want to be included in next week's video, simply record yourself saying, stay magical, and I'll put that at the end of my next upload. So that's it for this week, my magical pals. But until next time, as always, stay magical. I need a drink. It's like the real world magic.